हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर एड लेक्चर आर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दोज माइक्रोब्स व्हिच आर बेनिफिशियल फॉर ह्यूमन बीइंग्स बट दे आर यूज्ड फॉर मेकिंग इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्ट्स अमंग द इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्ट्स आई विल डिस्कस ओवर हियर द टू मेन प्रोडक्ट्स वन इज बेवरेजेस एंड अनदर antibiotics okay and they are produced at a large scale the mass production of these products is taking place in large vessels and these vessels are known as fermenters let's discuss about fermented beverages first okay what we have in this category there is beer wine whiskey brandy rum gin and vodka okay the yeast species which is known as saccharomyces cerevisiae it is mainly used for alcoholic fermentation <coughs> saccharomyces cerevisiae is commonly known as brewers yeast the substrate which are used for manufacturing of beverages are malted cereals malted means they are germinated cereals and then they are dried okay and this process is known as malting another is molasses and fruit juices molasses are most common substrate for ethanol production molasses is a product which is obtained from sugar canes depending upon the type of raw material which is used for fermentation and the type of processing it is either by distillation and without distillation so we have different types of alcoholic drinks one is wine and beer they are produced without distillation and they have low alcoholic content whiskey brandy and rum they are produced by distillation of fermented broth and it is having the high alcohol concentration antibiotics these are the chemical substances which are produced by some microbes and they have capability to kill the other microbes okay antibiotic anti means uh, against and uh, biotic it is re relevant to life but it does not mean that uh, they are used for killing the life but they are used for killing the causal agents which uh, cause a disease antibiotics the first they were discovered by alexander fleming while he was working with a staphylococci bacteria and he found a mold and around that mold this strain of bacteria which is staphylococci bacteria it was unable to grow okay and he found that this mold it contains uh, a fungi species known as penicillinum notatum and the product the mold which is having antibiotic properties uh, it was named as penicillinum this is the first antibiotic which was discovered by alexander fleming nowadays we have a number of um, antibiotics like uh, erythromycin streptomycin um, penicillin chloro tetracycline extra and they have capability to cure deadly diseases like uh, whooping cough diphtheria and leprosy other than antibiotics and beverages we obtain enzymes cyclosporin statins and organic acids from microbes briefly i will describe their functions and uh, the bacteria are the microbes which are used for obtaining these products organic acids 
certain microbes they have ability to convert carbohydrate into organic acids we have example like aspergillus niger it is a fungus and uh, the product which it creates is citric acid another organism it is acetobacter aceti and uh, it produces acetic acid in enzyme category we have lipases pectinases and proteases streptokinases and amylases lipases they are used in the formation of detergent because they have capability to remove oily stains okay and lipases they are obtained from a species of fungi or bacteria uh, is basically a yeast known as candidida pectinases and proteases they have capability to clarify fruit juices and uh, the organism or microbes which are used for creating pectinases and proteases are aspergillus uh, and bacillus species another enzyme it is streptokinase it's really amazing because it is known as clot busters it removes the clots which are present in uh, blood vessels and helps from patient hemorrhage and cardiac attack other and other thing it is cyclosporin a it is obtained from trichoderma okay it's a amino suppressive agent Uh, you know where we are using amino suppressors we are u- using this in um in those patients which have undergone in transplantation right the third thing is statins statins they are also obtained from a yeast and they have capability to low the blood cholesterol level cholesterol it is dangerous because it can cause heart attack and uh, this statin it actually lowers the blood cholesterol level thank you for listening to my lecture in case you have any doubt you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com